My name is Annie Coretta, and I'm a sophomore in the media school here at Indiana University. Today, I will be interviewing my fellow teammates, Kira and Ethan, for our NIL Story Lab assignment. Hi, Kira. Thanks so much for joining me today. What was your role in assisting with the NIL Story Lab project? Hi, I was the writer for this group project. And as the writer, what was the most challenging part and why? I think for me, the most challenging part of the writing process was really encapsulating the interviews that Ethan Roberts conducted. I found it difficult to take the sources experience of NIL and be able to translate that into a good story that does it justice on the paper. Doing all of that while maintaining the format of our project was a little bit hard for me. Thank you so much. And for me, as the editor, the hardest part of the project was putting together the WordPress and editing the podcast. Both of these tasks are very tedious and took some time to complete. Now, Ethan, what was your role in assisting with the NIL Story Lab project? My role in the NIL project was reaching out to a small school athlete and an expert on NIL, as well as photography for the story. And as the photographer slash interviewer, what was the most challenging part and why? The most challenging part was probably how difficult it could be to convince an expert source to agree to an interview. That may take more than 10 minutes. You have to almost be annoying and persistent and be okay with rejection. And to get them to agree to a phone call was probably the most difficult part. Thank you so much. Now, Kira, my final question is, what was something you learned through the process of reporting on NIL? I learned that smaller D3 athletes can still the in and out button just as bigger athletes from huge schools can and profiting off of your name image and likeness is still possible for everybody what about you ethan in terms of the project i learned a lot about what goes into pre-interview research and how to get the best answers out of a source in terms of nil i learned that there is a way for small college athletes to still earn nil even though it might not be the biggest financial benefit compared to d1 athletes it still benefits them a lot in terms of building their brand i agree with both those things kieran ethan i learned that nil rules have also impacted recruitment strategies for colleges and universities that schools with more attractive nil programs and opportunities may have a competitive advantage in recruiting top talent thanks so much for listening today see you next time